Good morning and welcome to Orca News. The headlines. Congress has now decided the presidential nominees. Congress imposes a deadline for voter registration. In a walkthrough about the election system. The Landovian Congress has now decided the nominees for the 2021 presidential elections. More to report from Paul. Paul? Yes, Carson. It has been decided. Congress has decided the candidates for the 2021 presidential elections. In the three major parties, one candidate per each party has been selected to be the presidential nominee for the elections. From the Red Conservative Party, the party has unanimously decided incumbent President Jerwin S. Limson to be the candidate for the Red Conservative Party in the presidential elections. In the Fusion Party, the party also unanimously decided incumbent Vice President Thompson I. Saman be the candidate for the presidential elections. And in the Landovian Acts Party, with seven-tenths of votes, former mayor of Flathills Village Pete R. Jenner has been selected to be the candidate for the presidential elections next year. These three candidates will compete in gaining the presidency of Landova in the following year. They will start campaigning starting tomorrow until the day before the elections in February. The presidential debate has now been scheduled to be on January 23, 2021. The broadcasting of the debate will be administered by the Landova Central Broadcasting Company, holding the channel of Orca News. Back to you, Carson. Thank you, Paul. Here's our background data on the candidates for the 2021 elections. President Jerwin Limson is the incumbent president of Landova. This year is the second term of his presidency, winning the majority of votes last February. He belongs to the Red Conservative Party, formerly known as the Republican Party. Next, we have Vice President Thompson Samante, the incumbent vice president of Landova. This year is also his second term as vice president. He belongs to the Fusion Party. Lastly, we have former Mayor Pete Genner. He was the mayor of Flathills Village from March 2018 up to March 2020. He belongs to the Landovian Acts Party. These candidates will be the nominees for the presidency in the 2021 elections. Here's our weather for today. The Landovian Congress has put up a deadline on the voters' registration for the 2021 elections. The deadline for the registration will be on the 21st of December 2020. For those who have not yet been registered, you can come to the Shuttler Municipal Hall at any date and time with or without an appointment. The Health Department and the Interior Department are still recognizing the urge to keep and follow the health protocols when coming to the venue. The National Constitution of Landova states that the elections will be done annually. The general elections will be held every second Saturday of February. Individual inauguration of winning candidates will be done every March 1st. They will take in their oath of office at their respective places. In the presidential elections, different major parties must select one candidate for president. The voting system for the presidential elections is at plurality first past the post voting in which the most number of votes will become the president. The vice presidential election determines the second person with the highest votes in the presidential elections, he or she will become vice president of the state, and also the Senate president of the Senate. In Congress, the Senate, and the House of Representatives, 
Voting is done by proportional representation, in which the proportion of votes of the selected party will take hold of the seats in the Senate and House of Representatives. In the Senate, three seats will be elected, two of which is from the votes of the people, and one permanent seat for the independent nonpartisan Redstone Commission Senator. The Redstone Commission Senator has the power to pass his or her office to his or her selected succession for Senator. The number of terms for the Redstone Commissioner is limitless. For this instance, there will be no election for the Redstone Commissioner Senator. In the House of Representatives, 15 will be elected by the proportion of votes from the people per village, city, and municipality two representatives per each city or municipality, and one representative per each village. The House Speaker will be elected by the elected representatives or congressmen of the House. At the local levels, a mayor is elected based on the plurality first past the post voting wherein the candidate with the most votes win. A governor is elected by the elected mayors in the province. Indirect elections are only done for the governor and the House Speaker in which elected officials will vote in for their preferred candidate. Cabinet secretaries are elected upon the selected appointee of the elected president along with the agreement in elections of the elected Congress. The health department still reported no new cases for the past five weeks. Lockdown is still imposed here in a hotel near Plainsfield Pier and the surrounding roads. President Lim Sun has said that the lockdown of the hotel and the pier will be effective until the end of January 2021. Roads will be cleared and be opened on December 20th. And that's it for today's news. This is Garson Nilgers reporting for Orca News. Good morning everyone.